Hey guys, this is Mark with the Art of RVing, and here I have Ethan Langley with American RV Restoration. In the house. house. And check out what is behind us. Oh. It is a 1951 lighthouse duplex. Yes. Yeah, seven known to exist. Correct. And I don't know how many are existing, 80% restored. None. But uh, yeah, and you can check out my other video when he first got it, and now check it out at 80%. Let's get it on. Let's do it. Mark, we have windows in it now. No There's no way. more board there. Uh-uh, yeah. So we scavenged this uh -huh. out of another one on the West Coast that was rotted out. Right. So this window came from a donor lighthouse, which mm -hmm. is a blessing to me. But now we have windows in the front, Mark. We have aluminum on there. We have fresh screws, fresh butyl. We have a brand new roof all the way down, all the way around. We got an electric tongue jack. Whoa. Dude, this thing's <laughs> fixing to be rolling. It's fixing to be on the road. All right, yeah, Ethan, give me the good stuff. That is an aqua car, by the way, guys over there. Yes, Ethan, Ethan. We're ready to hit the lake. Let's go fishing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we've got the lighthouse skin on. Behind the skin is new wood. In between that is new insulation, new wiring. And the beauty of this is we have doors now. We have storage doors. We have escape hatches, Mark. We have windows in. We have a new J-Rail system that wasn't even around when this trailer was made. I mean, the technology that we have invested in this, state-of-the-art, ready to travel coast to coast. A escape hatch? The escape hatch, in case you need to escape, Mark. In case you know, really? your girlfriend's in there and your <laughs> wife's coming in. We gotta go. Oh, ooh, shots fired. 50 amp. 50 amp in the house to run those two big mega ACs. They're gonna cool this thing down. We're traveling across the country. <laughs> and what'd you say? It used to have what? used to have a basic 110 plug like you used to plug your iPhone in. <laughs> Not much juice was going into this thing back in the day, but it has a lot going into it now. How it's 28 foot long. Right. Equates out to 54 foot because of the two stories. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so that's right. a lot of real estate going down the highway. That's but amazing, it's tall. Man. Look at this monster. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you see the bedrooms upstairs. It's awesome. I can't wait to get in there. All right, Ethan, give me the good stuff. What is the this? good stuff is state-of-the-art 2023. We've got a mini split going back here to keep the- A mini split. For mini us split that don't know what that is. AC and heat unit, basically. Oh. Ultra quiet, ultra efficient, blows ice cold and blows hot. So and that's where this is. That's what this is. You're going to put correct. it Correct. Once we get it painted, it's going to be uh -huh. mounted right there. And then we're going to use a trunk to simulate the 1940s. No way. Yes. A Louis Vuitton? Probably, if I can afford it, Mark, we'll have to sell a couple more things. <laughs> I'll help you. I know you will, brother. Because <laughs> this was the worst side. It was so damaged. And mm -hmm. we tried to salvage the skin. We didn't. We just had to replace it all the way down. So all new skin on the lower levels. Where'd you get the skin from? The skin we ordered out of Tulsa. We've uh -huh. got a good uh, good friend of ours that does aluminum out of there. Uh -huh. Blessed to have him in the house. Great creases. Great, mm -hmm. great maneuverability for everything. It went in like nothing. Like What's butter. his name? Um, all metal and equipment. Okay, cool. We'll give him a shout the out. Next thing that we have here is the new axles. They may not look new, but they are. They're brand new, state of the art, 2023. And then that used to have what split rim? Is that what they're called? That is the split rim still on there. This is coming off. I have brand new wheels going on for paint. <laughs> Would you say it used to kill a lot of people? They did. Those the rings split. Fall off. <laughs> Take your head off. Of them. All the lower it's side is all new aluminum art, uh -huh. and then all the top sides all new aluminum. The other part going up is all factory. Dude, look at this thing. Nice. All right, Ethan, let's check it out. Let's get on these brand All new right. steps, Mark. Let's go, man. All right, man. So look at this thing, man. Mark, we're in it. <laughs> look, we, we've traveled a, in time. <laughs> well, we have. Let me give a run around on this thing, man. This thing is flat amazing. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Check out, make sure you check out the other video I have of this thing before. There's pictures of kids here having birthday parties. Used to belong to a commune in California, right? Well, and before that, it was an Air Force upper up that traveled with his family. I think it was five kids across the United States, and we have all that footage. Oh, man, I love that. So, yeah, I remember it had, uh, you'll see in the old, the other video, uh, that I have, but had, they had hippie paintings and oh, everything upstairs, man. They had, they had murals on there, they yeah. had sayings, they had been to Burning Man, just some partying fools. They had taken all the inside out and they yeah. had used it to keep warm. They had oh, it. that kill you, man. Yeah. All right, lay it on us, brother. What do you got in here? Well, I mean, from the top to the bottom, we've got new wood, we've got new cabinets, uh, the windows have all been rebuilt, all new electrical. I mean, we salvaged a few things, but I would say 90% of it is all new, Mark. Mm -hmm. Plenty of cabinet. There's the AC. That is the AC and heater, the mini split. Yep. 
and all the cabinets are, oh, it looks a lot different in here than it did before. All new cabinets, all new hardware, all new wood, stained. Uh, the cracked ice simulates what it was originally, so that's what it would have looked like originally. The backsplash mark simulates what it would have looked like, the white in there originally. Oh, I see. The light sconces are original to it. Wow. The oven is original to it. We just got done rebuilding that. So that door trim is original. We restored it, so that's one of the last original pieces in here that we actually could use. And it was painstaking, but we got kind of like the oven, kind of like the light yeah. sconces. You, I mean, you always do a great job. Including the floor. The floor is all new. The wood, the structure, the undercoating that we spray foamed. And then we have epoxy resin in here that we laid down, used the torches to smooth out. I wanted to be different, Mark. I didn't want to do what everybody else is doing. And we are in 2023 now, and I do want to take this nationwide and let all your viewers see it. So that was one yeah. big thing. We wanted to make sure it was able to get there and get back. It's just a pleasure to be in it. I it's, mean, it's, it's a piece of history that a lot of people will never get to see, and I'm going to make sure I try to get as many people as I can to see it. Good job, man. Okay, so here's the hallway from the kitchen where we were. And so let's check out the bathroom. What do you say, man? We have a door, Mark. That means you can oh have some privacy. Gosh, look, at look at that. Look at the original handle on the door. <laughs> Too cool, man. But we have a door, and that's a big thing. We haven't had a door in years, Mark. Yeah. Literally, before when you filmed it, there was no bathroom. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, I do, yeah. It was just empty. You guys are going to check out that video on this thing. I mean, yeah, it had no bathroom. All right, so all new plumbing in the bathroom. All, and it has tanks now. Before, it didn't even have uh, tanks for sewage and uh, gray water. You know, we have a toilet. We have the original sink. All new wood. All new cabinet. All new shower pan. Backing plate on the shower pan is original, but everything else is not. So all that is brand new in there. That's amazing. What is that? Is that looks like a speaker right there? That's the, <laughs> that's the poo fan, Mark. Come on now. <laughs> I don't need one. Oh man, I love that. Look how tiny that sink is. Is that original? That is the original sink. We oh brought it back gosh. to life, Mark. Amazing. So I should say, Mark, one thing I didn't tell you is that the first run on cabinetry just wasn't up to par. So we tore the first row of cabinetry out, started all over again. This is the finished product. This is our pantry, and then you have two clothes closets here. So a lot of room for storage in here. They fit perfectly and they look amazing. It looks just, I mean, it's amazing. So the quality's better than what it was when you got it, of course. The quality is a ton better from what it was originally, of course, with all the modern technologies we have. But I'm telling you, when we first started, we didn't have a lot of the skill that we have now. So we have really come a long ways and we decided to redo all the cabinetry a second time. Uh, all brand you. new. Well, so this is the living room. Yes. Man, look at this thing. Got a big mirror here. And didn't you say this is like where the general, who was it that had this, the military guy, this is where his seat would be. Yep. Probably his easy boy with his martini. I think that's what you said. Look at all this cabinetry, those drawers, the stairs. And then back here, you're going to have a... Uh, be two end tables back here. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the original Firestone couch that we had restored. Tell me about, what do you mean Firestone couch? So Firestone actually made appliances and household items. This was a couch that they made from back in 1948. So I have the original tag on the back of it. What? Like Firestone, the, the rubber company? Yep. Yep. Dang, why is it so thick like that back there? Look how big this thing is. This thing actually folds down into a very comfortable bed. Huh. So it's, it's a third bedroom for sleeping. Who knew? All right, Good so dude. now we're going to go up the stairs. What makes the Lot House very, very unique. This is what makes it the duplex. Yep, and that's why it was patented and no others were like this. They would all be like this, probably. So we're going to go up the duplex. And if, as you can see, as I turn in here, here is the first bedroom. And this is considered not the master bedroom here. So you have, but you told me originally it's so awesome because this, you can stand completely up in here. The floor is sunk down like here. And it, it's probably what, six foot two in here. I can stand here. fine in there. So Easy, it's man. Illusion, really. Why don't you get up here and stand for me? All right. All right, check it out. Optical illusion. Nathan, he's over six foot. Six two. Yeah, so check it out. Look how much room there is, man. Not um, much, but it's enough. Enough to get the job done. And so you have your bed here. I mean, and look how big it is in here. It's amazing. I mean, it's gigantic, man. Got the memory foam mattresses. Got all the windows rebuilt. 76 hours alone in the windows. I mean, just oh my the, gosh. the original light sconces for the headboards. Because uh, these swivel. Oh, yeah. So you can move around as you're reading. And I remember it had some some hippie drawings here. It, it did. did like it crazy. Did. Look at the other video, guys. You'll see it. 
Oh, uh, and this thing is huge. That is way bigger than a queen. That's like a king. Got, got the minute. brand new foam mattresses in here. Whoa. Got the brand new drawer in here. <laughs> oh, well, you, you can fix that, Lane. We can fix it, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just tear it up. But uh, it, it doesn't smell like mold in here. It doesn't have <laughs> windows that are falling out. I mean, it has windows now. That's an amazing thing. The light sconces are in. It, um, it smells new. Yeah. I mean, this thing smells new. It is. Amazing. Oh, it is new. Exactly right. Look at the curvature in that wood. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now let's switch sides and go to the master let's side bedroom. Let's do uh, it. Let's go. Okay, so this is the side we just saw, and I'm just going to swing around just to show you all this. So when you go around, there is like a little hallway here, so just so you guys know where you are. And there's the stairs that we climbed right there. And here is Ethan. And check out these pocket doors. Is that amazing? Is that how it was originally? Originally, that's how it was. Oh my gosh, so you have privacy in your two bedrooms. Yep. And you can go still go up and down the hallway without opening each other's door. Okay, so look how tall this thing is, man. Still, 6'2", he's way enough room in there. In there. All right, hop up on that bed, let's see. Oh, nice, look at that thing. Right there. And this is the master bedroom. It, it is. It has more cabinets over it here. Mm-hmm. And it has a place in the back back there. Nice. And goes around like that. Oh, so I'll leave cool. leave the light on for you. Thank you. And look at all this room in here. Just amazing how you can stand up in here, the engineering in here. And we actually put epoxy resin down here to match it. And so when we carpet the stairs, which carpet back in the day, the 50s, that was like a big thing. Oh. When we carpet the stairs, that'll lead up into this area here, and you'll see the epoxy resin all polished up and shining. But I got to tell you something about those doors that was really a feat of engineering. All right. Those doors were one hard thing to find because out of two lighthouses that I've owned, there was only one door. So they took those doors off. Oh, that's huh. So I had one to make, which is all I needed. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we recreated them from that one door to have what we have now. And I've never seen doors like that. Of course, I've never seen another duplex beyond the, the couple we've had, but it's amazing to have all this 1950s, really cool engineering inside this trailer. Oh my gosh. All right, Ethan, man, you really brought it back to life. And what, what a great job, man. And so you plan on touring around the United States in it and let everybody see it? You know, it's funny. We posted the stove the other day, and the stove turned out amazing, that 1948 Dixie. Right. And, uh, people are already hitting us up nationwide saying we need you in our town you know they want to bring sure. Americana back uh, from sure. the 50s this is where it was strong this is what we need to get back to right and they want it and they want it bad they're offering money to bring it to their town they're, they're offering free stays free food seminars whatever we want to tour the United States with this thing and Mark we're so close how come there's not more they were so engineer? expensive I think is what the main thing was Mark uh -huh. you know I think about it and I've talked to the uh, grandson of the inventor and the owner of Lighthouse corporation and they were just so expensive to make this duplex it was almost three times what a normal house was back then oh I see and you know we want to bring it back to show it to everybody because this is what true Americana was back in the 50s space right. age you know engineering going right. above and beyond showing them what it really is right, for the wheelbase how long is it it's 28 foot but it actually gives you 54 foot right and it's aerodynamic it is because it's in the middle of the frame itself you know people think this is a really heavy trailer it's only 6800 pounds oh I mean, my the, gosh the typical fifth wheel is the typical fifth wheel that's this length is about probably 10 to 12,000 pounds, so it's almost half. Unbelievable, man, with all that room. They should all be built like this. They should, the lighthouse duplexes. Dude, I just love it so much. Ethan, you're awesome. That's old, I can tell.